It's your girl Sky. Um, come in with this reaction to the 911 call to Kevin Samuels. And honestly, I was going back and forth with myself about whether or not I wanted this to even be in my videos because <clears throat> I don't know. I just don't like the idea of even speaking on these type of subjects because my famous motto is it's a great day to mind your business. <laughs> so so um i really didn't want to do this but honestly i feel like maybe my video could help some other people mind their business <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and play this um call i'm probably not gonna play the whole thing i really just um gonna make my points on some things and get off of here so let's go ahead and get started Okay, okay, hello ma'am. Can I take a deep breath and what's the address for sure? Okay. Okay, one second. 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 Okay, okay. Oh my god, hold on. Okay. You need to come to... It's uh, the residence. It's um... Please, just come past. It's, it's Kevin Town. You need to come. Ma'am, ma'am. Take a deep breath. Seven three one. Where is the street line? It is two ninety seven East Pages Ferry Road, North East. Okay, is this the house or apartment? Okay, so um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to when she was doing the CPR. Is he awake? Okay. I'm going to say, hold on. I'm going to say, hold on. I'm going to say, hold on. Okay, so since the ad's coming, I'm going to just go ahead and stop it right there. So, um, just a few points I'll make about the video. Um, the young lady said that she was a nurse and she was not going to stop giving him CPR. And then prior to that, <clears throat> um, I'll put the link down in the description for this video as well if you guys want to go and look at it. But prior to that, she said um, that he was breathing. And then after she said he wasn't anymore, but she had already began doing the CPR. Now, if he's breathing, there's no need for him to have CPR. So I'm just a little confused about that. I don't know if maybe she was getting her words jumbled up because she was uh, freaking out a little bit. <laughs> um, and that's another thing I'll make a comment on because um, nurses are trained 
um, in those type of situations to keep calm. And it's really, really important. It's like something that's taken really seriously. I did home health care. I was not a nurse, but I worked with um, disabled people. A lot of them had uh, like real disabilities, like uh, cerebral palsy or um, things like that, where you had to sometimes get the police involved or get the people, the ambulance coming to help you get them off the floor or anything like that. But I've never been on a call where I was calling them to come and pick a patient up or help me with getting her off the, getting one of them off the floor. And they added another call to the call. That was really weird to me. They just asked me the simple questions, the address, the name, all of that stuff. And then they, you know, informed me that people would be on the way and whether or not it was a, a immediate situation, they would stay on the phone or not. But, um, yeah, so that was just really kind of weird to me that she had to connect in another call for the ambulance. That was, mm-hmm. but with the whole CPR thing, she's freaking out already. And she's saying that she's doing CPR. And uh, if you know anything about CPR, then uh, the normal, I guess the most heard about song to associate to the rhythm of CPR is Staying Alive. Um, I don't know if y'all um, know that song. It's that, uh, 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 Staying Alive. Yeah. So so you giving compressions to that rhythm and you're freaking out and you're trying to talk to people at the same time, you're going to be out of breath, especially for the nine to 10 minutes or whatever, however many minutes from the time she started CPR to the time she was done. So she would have definitely been breathing a little harder than that. You got to go at least two inches down each compression. Um, But honestly, to me, the whole thing sounded staged and (laughs) uh, maybe somebody just wanted so bad to put something out that they fake this 911 call or whatever. I don't know. And then there are conspiracy theories going around where they're talking about the nurse killed him and or the young lady or whatever. I say all this to say, honestly, I don't really have an opinion about this because I feel like it's not something that I should have an opinion about. Um, it's crazy that as soon as people found out that he passed away. A lot of people flocked to the internet to kind of just start bashing him and saying, oh, good riddance and just all kind of hateful stuff. Like it's amazing how hateful people can be. And nobody's even taken in consideration that regardless of how they felt about this human being, he still had people that cared about him. And I mean, a couple, a day or two or the day of after this man passed away, people were just flocking to give their opinion on him. And really, honestly, he might have had a lot of harsh ways of going about things, so people say. But nobody can really combat the fact that a lot of the things he said was true. So, I mean, we all know reality. We all know what's really going on within our communities and things like that. And whether or not you want to hate him because his deliverance was a little hard. (laughs) I mean, that's up to you, but at least give his family and the people that actually gave a crap about him time to grieve their loved one without seeing all this hateful negative stuff every single day. Like that's terrible, but um, I'm really not gonna give too much of an opinion on Kevin Samuels, I didn't think he was a bad person. Um, He had his views. A lot of people had views against it. And that's what it was, honestly. But (laughs) honestly, you know, growing up as kids, we all play games, cops and robbers, detective. You know, it was fun. It was a game back then. (laughs) everybody wanted to pretend to do to be something you know what i'm saying but then as an adult as you grow older you kind of you you tend to 
let go of those things and come into reality. And I think what happens is a lot of people don't come into reality. A lot of people still want to play pretend. So that's why you got all these fake detectives and all this crap going on online (laughs) that's completely crazy, just feeding people all kinds of things. And that's why we keep our kids off (laughs) all of this crap. Like, because all you guys really do is put a load of bull crap into people's minds and it's ridiculous i'm really gonna leave everything off right there don't forget to like comment and subscribe go ahead and click that bell make sure you get notifications when i post and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video other than that i'll see you guys later peace